Hello guys, you are welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to prefer solutions to the chemistry manual question and that is the first titration experiment. This is the experiment between I and uh, between sodium hydroxide and H2SO4. Now to begin, let us calculate our table or complete our table. Now the first table we have is we have the or the first thing we have on the table we have the titration which is supposed to be burette readings then this one is initial burette reading the final burette reading then we have our rough first reading and what second reading now let us get the values of each of the readings the first and the second reading the title values for each of the readings and then from there we'll be able to calculate the average title now, for this particular one, this is 12.50 or let's start with the rough. But while calculating titled value, rough is not often used. So if I want to do something here, I would just say let's rule another line here or let's leave it, just write it somewhere around there. The differences between the final and the initial reading gives you the what the title value for that particular experiment. The differences between the initial and the final reading gives you the actual value for that titration experiment so let's go for each of them for the rough this one the initial reading is zero and the final reading is 12.50 now zero minus 12.50 this will give us 12.50 of course you know the unit is in milliliters already stated here now the second one is 12.50 and 26.20 if you subtract these two you are going to have 13.70 also this one is 26.20 minus 29.9 39.90 if you subtract these two you're also going to have 13.70 now to find the average title average title or the average value of h2so for use average value of h2so4 would be equal to 13.70 okay this 13.70 plus 13.70 divided by 2. now note while you are answering this question your rough is not supposed to be part of your average title I've seen situations where students will add their rough plus their average title. The rough is just an indication of the degree to which or it's just an indication of the range of values for which your burette readings are supposed to what, be located or are supposed to be found. So you are not to add it. Your first reading is your first experiment and then your second reading is the second what experiment. So adding these two together, what are you going to have? Then divide by 2. If you add them together and divide by 2, this is going to give you 13.70 milliliter. And this is the average titer that is used or the average value of H2SO4 that is used. So the average titer is 13.70 milliliter. Now let's come to our questions. The question says, write the formula of sulfuric acid. Well, the formula of sulfuric acid is h 2 SO4 that is the formula for sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is H2SO4. Write the balance equation to represent the neutralization reaction. Now the reaction is between H2SO4 and then what? Sodium hydroxide. The reaction is between H2SO4 and sodium hydroxide. All these are aqueous aqueous. Now, of course, everyone knows that H2SO4 is an acid and then sodium hydroxide is a base. Now, when an acid and a base react, what is formed? It forms salt and water. So, the product of this reaction is salt and water. And what will be the salt that will be formed out of this reaction? It will form sodium tetrazosulfate, which is sodium sulfate, plus there we have what? H2O, which is water. Now, is this equation balanced? If it is not balanced, how do we balance this equation? Now, to balance this equation, you have H2SO4. Of course, you know this is uh, two hydrogens here plus this hydrogen making it to be three. First of all, let's balance sodium. There are two sodiums here. 
and then there is one sodium here so to balance sodium what do we do we add two here okay so this gives us two this becomes plus two sodium hydroxide now sodium is balanced how many oxygen are here this is two oxygen plus four here making it six and then this is how many here four plus one so we have to add two here we'll add two here becomes two oxygen here and then plus this one making it six then this oxygen here these two affects this to make it two oxygen and then plus this one making it six sulfate is uh sulfur is one sulfur one sulfur so as it is now the equation is balanced like this are we getting it now so this is salt and this is water and this is the balanced equation for this reaction this is the balanced equation now the next question says record the volume of the acid that was used record the volume of the acid that was used now the volume of the acid that was used we already calculated it that is the average titer which is 13.70 milliliter so here we have 13.70 milliliter now i say record the molarity of the acid used the molarity of the acid that was used is 0 0.1 molar that is the molarity of the acid that was used now while you are having this table or when you are solving for this table everybody's table differs no two persons have the same table hence you are not expected to have the same average tighter but your tighter value should be within the range of this 13.7 yours may be 12 yours may even be 11 it's not bad anything you have please impute it the way it is are you getting it now that will give you the molarity of the acid that was preferred but you shouldn't be having average titer of 2, 3, but it should be within the range of, let's say, 11, 12, 13, 14, and sometimes 15. Some persons, they don't really know how to stop the titration once they reach their end point, and hence, they tend to um, go beyond the uh, normal volume of the acid that was used. Are we getting it now? So, let's continue. The molarity of the acid that was used this is a standard acid it was given to you in the experiment so everyone is expected to have the same thing here which is 0.1 mole everyone is expected to have the same thing because this is the equation of the reaction everyone is expected to have the same thing which is so for here the only thing that would differ is the volume of the acid used and the volume of the acid used is this volume here that is calculated from your table okay so let's go to the next the next question says calculate the molarity of sodium hydroxide now to calculate the molarity of sodium hydroxide let us first of all write the equation of reaction the equation of reaction is sodium hydroxide plus h2 so4 then this gives us sodium sulfate plus h2o of course we know this reaction is not balanced so we put two there then of course also we have to put two here for sodium i believe that's okay it's correct like this it, you can bring this one come uh first and then bring this one the next it mustn't be this one coming before the other any one of them can come first okay so now having written this which of them is the acid here of course we know that h2so4 is the acid and then which is the base sodium hydroxide is the base now we need to write the equation of neutralization the equation of neutralization states that c a v a all over c b v b is equal to what n a all over n b where n a is the number of moles of the acid now this is the acid what is the number of moles? The, the molar the mole ratio here is one then the mole ratio here is what two which is the mole ratio of base to acid is two ratio one base to acid so it means our na is one and then our nb is what two now everyone is expected to have the same thing here na one nb two because the equation of reaction is the same regardless of your tighter value now the next thing is the volume of the acid used now in the experiment the volume of the acid used was 20 milliliter so the volume of the acid is 20 milliliter 
and then the concentration of the acid of course is 0.1 molar standard acid now the sorry the volume of the acid is the volume you have from your tighter value okay which is what 13.70 milliliter which is what we recorded here record the volume of the acid use 13.7 so anything you have here anything you have here for your individual tighter values that is what you are going to impute here under volume of acid so for this case this is 13.070 milliliter now our concentration of acid it was given this standard acid which is 0.1 molar now the next thing we need to do is the concentration of the base is unknown that is what you are asked to calculate calculate the molarity of the base now the next thing is the concentration the volume of base the volume of base was given as 20 milliliter now imputing each of these things now into this equation what are you going to have rca is what 0.1 times then our va volume of acid in this case is 13.70 now you are now going to impute your individual title value here now from here down everything is the same for everybody cb is unknown that is what you are looking for times then the next one is vb we are using this equation now to work okay the next one is vb vb is the volume of base which is 20 milliliter okay 20 milliliter is equal to na is one all over nb is two so at the end of the day what are you going to have when you cross multiply from here this multiply by this it gives you what 20 cb is equal to this times this what will it give to you two times 0 0.1 times 13.70 then cb of course divide both side by 20 this 20 cancel 20 and cb would be equal to what would that give to you punch your calculator what would that give to you punch your calculator 2 times 0 0.1 times 13.7 then divided by 20 and that gave us 0 0.137 molar which is approximately 1.4 molar solution 1.4 molar solution so our cb is equal to 1.4 molar solution that is the concentration of the base and that is the molarity of sodium hydroxide that was used for this experiment so the molarity of sodium hydroxide is 1.4 molar now this value here would be influenced by your average title value so the only thing that is significant in this experiment is your average title value of 13.70 milliliter now if your average title value differs it means that your molarity definitely will be what differ or difference rather are we getting it now so if your value do not fall within the range of 1.4 do not bother for instance let me say your average title is 12 if you use 12 to solve this will give us 2 this is an example now 2 times 0 0.1 times 12 divided by 20 which is 0 0.12 so any value that your average title gives to you is what you will substitute under this 13.0 for this 13.70 to get your answer is that clear so that is solution to that question now let's continue with answering the question moving forward let's see now he said if hno3 and h2so4 have the same molarity why did h2so4 require about twice the volume of sodium hydroxide solution for the titration now the volume is directly proportional to the molar ratio if you use your c1 uh, v1 and the whatsoever you discover that the since the molar ratio differs the volume will also what differ so if you are to answer this question if i'm to answer it i will say writing the equation of reaction this uh hno3 nitric acid plus sodium hydroxide what will be the molarity the product rather the product is sodium nitrate plus h2o what is the molar ratio this is one ratio what 
one. Now the next one is H2SO4. Of course, this one is the one that we've written before. Plus two sodium hydroxide to give us what sodium sulfate plus what two H2O. Now the molar ratio is what one ratio two. So the reason is because the reason is because it requires the molar or let's say the reason is because the molar ratio now the reason why the volume will be the, the volume of h2so4 require about twice the volume of or the question says if hno3 and h2so4 have the same molarity why did h2so4 require about twice the volume of sodium hydroxide for the titration now it is because the molar ratio between h2so4 and sodium hydroxide is one ratio two why the molar ratio between HNO3 and sodium hydroxide is 1 is to 1. So this one will require what? Twice the volume of sodium what? hydroxide. H2SO4 will require twice the volume because the volume is somehow related or somehow um, proportional to the molar ratio. So you see this one is 1 ratio 2. This one is 1 ratio 1. So it will require twice the volume. So if you want to write, you could just say the reason is because the molar ratio for h2so4 and sodium hydroxide in the balanced neutralization reaction is one ratio two hence the volume required will be twice that of hno3 which is one ratio one back on, you've gotten the correct answer to that question okay so that is that now let us look at these questions now for this particular question i think that there are so many mistakes here because we calculated for or we have said the concentration of sodium hydroxide and not that of H2SO4. So this question was supposed to be targeted at sodium hydroxide. But since H2SO4 was given, which of course I know it's out of some typographical error, we are going to provide the solution in such a way that it will cover for both of our H2SO4 and also for all our, our sodium hydroxide. So I answered it in such a way that it covered for the two. H2SO4 and sodium hydroxide. Now, the first one says if the B rate is uh, contaminated with a base solution, what is the answer? This is the answer here. Yeah. We don't need much. So, you should just copy what you see on the board on the screen. If the B rate is contaminated with the base solution, neutralization reaction takes place and the molarity of the acid is decreased. Now, the next one copy as you see on the board. Okay? The presence of air bubble leads to inaccurate volume measurement. The measured volume of the acid is higher than the actual value. Since the concentration of H2SO4 is known, there will be increase, but there will be an increase in the concentration of okay. This one is since the concentration of H2SO4 is known, there would not be an increase. There would not be an increase, but there would be an increase in the concentration of the base calculated. Now, the last one is. If a small volume of the acid is spilled, it means that the volume of the acid recorded is actually higher than the volume needed to reach the end point. This has nothing to do with the known molarity of the acid, but the molarity of the base calculated is what? Increased. You get it now? So these are the solutions to the questions, okay? Now the next. Now for this particular question is also very wrong. So I'm going to strike this out. I decided to write it the way it is here because I don't want any confusion. So now using the molarity of this obtained from your experiment, the experiment we did was molarity of sodium hydroxide. So this is supposed to be sodium hydroxide. Obtained from your titration, calculate the molarity of a 26.0 milliliter of, now this is what? This is uh, ethanoic acid, not ethanol. So let's write the equation of reaction for this. So please, Take note of this. These are little, little errors and mistakes. Because when alcohol, this you have here is ethanol, which is CH3, CH2, C, uh, uh, this CH2, then we have what? OH. I'm oh, sorry for that. This is ethanol, OH. Now, if ethanol reacts with H2SO4, this is not a neutralization reaction as this we dehydrate ethanol to give what it's in this we dehydrate ethanol to give it in plus what h2o elimination reaction 
but this is not the reaction this is a neutralization reaction and the question is a neutralization question hence we need to arrange it the way it ought to be so in this case now i told you that what we calculated for was h2 was what sodium hydroxide so this question is wrong the way it is or let we have to impute it the way i've corrected it and then solve with it now ch3 cooh is ethanoic acid plus sodium hydroxide is what is a base are we getting it now so it's just more like when an acid and a base react it forms salt and water now this is a weak acid and this is a strong base so when both of them neutralize what is it going to form when this reacted this forms ch3 coo na plus what h2o this is sodium ethanoate and it's a salt sort of the carboxylic acid and this is what water which is h2o now is this equation balance yeah it's balanced the equation is balanced so what are we going to do is to spell out the molar ratios this is one ratio one now from our our formula c a v a all over c b v b is equal to n a all over n b and this will be equal to where's our ca let's write that as parameters ca is the concentration of the acid now i say calculate the molarity of a 26.0 milliliter of ethanoic acid so the concentration of the acid is unknown now the volume of acid is what 26.0 milliliter required to neutralize the volume of base um the volume of the base is uh say calculate the molarity of 26 points of ethanoic acid solution required to neutralize okay since we change this source to uh, sodium hydroxide here will also be what sodium hydroxide so the volume of base which is vb is 32.50 milliliter and then that of the concentration of the base is now was the concentration of the base given yeah that is what you calculated from your experiment look at it here concentration of the base was what you calculated from your experiment which is 1.4 in this case so your cb here is what you are going to use because it says using the volume you got from the experiment the volume i mean the concentration using the molarity the molarity is the concentration here so the concentration of the base here is 1.4 molar now c a v a all over c b v b is equal to n a over n b now substituting in what are we going to have our c a is there times v a is 26 mil divided by c b is 1.4 times 32.50 is equal to one ratio one and then when you cross multiply this becomes this times this it will give you 26 times c a is equal to this times this will give you 1.4 times 32.50 and there your c a will be equal to 1.4 times 32.50 divided by 26 now if you press this your calculator you are going to have c a as so our c a is 1.4 1.75 come on get out 1.75 molar get out so that is our answer for ca 1.75 molar so that is the calculated value for ca ca is 1.75 molar so the molarity of ethanoic acid that is required to neutralize is what 1.75 molar and that is the answer to this question so this question the way it is presented in the manual is wrong why because what you calculated for was the molarity of what sodium hydro are not issue so far okay and then the um what is given here this should be typographical error this is alcohol and alcohol reacting with h2s so far i told you that it will undergo dehydration reaction which is elimination to form it in that is not a neutralization reaction are you getting it now so this is what you are expected to do 
Is that understood? Now let us continue with the next question. Name the titrant or the titrate and the titrant. Now in this case, the titrant is what is in your burette. What is in your what? Burette is the titrant. Okay. Your titrant is what is in your burette. So in this experiment you carried in this experiment you carried out your titrant is H2SO4. That is your titrant. Why your titrate is what is in the conical flux, and that is the titrate is sodium hydroxide. That is what you are trying to know the concentration. So the titrant is the one that is uh, on the burette which is h2so4 the average volume used and then your titrate is your sodium hydroxide okay now let's go to the next question next question say write a balance equation between sodium carbonate and hydrogen chloride now hydrogen chloride reacting with sodium carbonate now hydrogen chloride is an acid of course aqueous and this is a base aqueous now when these two combine it's going to give us a salt sodium chloride plus carbon dioxide plus what h2o carbon dioxide which we give effervescent okay this is aqueous this is gas and this is what liquid so that will be the product of the reaction now is this reaction balanced hcl we have one hydrogen here this one two hydrogens here which is one hydrogen here you add to here okay now what other thing again do we need sodium how many sodium are here two sodium which is this one is having one sodium here you add two to balance sodium now chlorine how many chlorine are here two chlorine so it's balanced how many chlorine are here two chlorine so it's balanced now what other thing you get carbon how many carbons are here one carbon and how many carbons are here one carbon how many oxygens are here three oxygen and how many oxygens are here this is two oxygen plus one making it three oxygen so this equation is what balance so this is the balance equation for this first one which is between sodium carbonate and hydrogen chloride the next one is sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid sodium hydroxide aqueous plus acl which are the chloric acid aqueous now what will this give to us when these two react it will form also sodium chloride plus water which is h2o now is this reaction balance yes sodium here is one sodium here is one chlorine here is one chlorine here is one hydrogen here is two hydrogen here is two so this equation is what balance now this is salt okay which is solid and this the salt is um this aqueous is in solution okay and that is that so now the next one is Okay, we are done with that experiment so that is all for this question i believe uh for this uh experiment so you are expected to do this experiment with 30 minutes you see how easy it is now please make sure that you play with the questions try other questions and see how it is okay so we we'll solved all these these and you can see how attractive they are this particular question told you that there are some little errors here this is supposed to be explain the effect of each of the following sources of error the molarity of now this is supposed to be the molarity of what sodium hydroxide not h2so4 but since they use h2so4 i had to answer the question in such a way that it captures both h2so4 and sodium hydroxide but this is actually a mistake because what you are said for in the experiment was what sodium hydroxide the concentration of h2so4 is known because it's a standard solution of what h2so4 okay